So your hair is always parting and splitting in one area no matter what you do and it's driving you crazy. Well, I'm gonna show you today a cool trick and technique of how to eliminate that part. Now, it's not as simple as, oh, I'm gonna change up my hairstyle. You have to put some work in and it's sometimes not always guaranteed, but the natural parting, and this is important, the natural parting is there for a reason. You were born with it. So if your hair is always splitting on the side, that's because that's the growth pattern of your hair, or if it's always down the middle, the only way you can really get rid of that part uh, is by doing the following. So let's pretend that you just finished washing your hair, whether it's in the shower or whatever it is, and this is the best time and really the only time you can start to do this and change things up because when the hair is wet, it's much easier to manipulate. So make sure your hair is damp at least, at the minimum. You don't want it dripping wet, but you definitely need to make sure that it is uh, at least somewhat damp so you can, you can actually work the hair. And the key to doing this technique, right, and this whole process is that you want to be able to work the hair and change up the part, right? You want to be able to change up the part. So say again, the parting is right here and you want to get rid of, of this line right through here, or this natural parting, um, the best way to do is to comb the hair first, make sure it's nice and combed, make sure it's wet, and then get the blow dryer. Now the key to this is that you want to get rid of this. So what you need to do is blow dry the hair in the opposite direction and create something that the hair is it naturally doing. So we're gonna create something unnatural because it naturally wants to split right here. So the best way to do it is you wanna brush the hair over on either the, either the other side, like this, or all the way forward, right? All the way forward, what that's gonna do is that's going to create an even playing field. It also will put the direction of the style going forward a bit. You can then bring it back, but I like to bring the hair in all different directions and really is the best thing to do to get rid of that part is you have to create something unnatural. Also the brush right here, this is a, a, a sculpting brush. You can use a vent brush. You can get them on Amazon anywhere. The key is to take the hair, lock it in at the scalp area, turn it and then blow dry it the other way. And the heat from the blow dryer and the way you're using the brush is gonna create almost like a different growth pattern, right? A different growth pattern in that area where you don't want it to split. So let me do it right now and then you can see what the end result looks like. What we've done, as you can see here, is we pretty much got rid of the part, right? We got rid of the natural parting and the hair, as you can see here, is combed all forward like this. Now, you're probably not gonna wear your hair like this, but if you notice, there's no, there's no parting anymore, right? So that means if you wanna now brush the hair back, right, and, and you wanna start to style it, you can now do so in any direction that you want. You can go over you can go over this way if you want. You can go over uh, the opposite side if you want because of how, again, how we blow dried the hair and we change everything up. You can go straight, you know, straight back. So the key to this whole thing really is to create something unnatural to fight against your natural part, right? That's really the only way you can really do that. And I've gotten, you know, lots and lots of questions and comments about that, how to get rid of my natural part, how to get rid of my middle parting, side parting. It's the best way to do it. If you are just seeing this video for the first time and you have no idea who I am, um, you know, you can follow along and see the journey I recently had with having hair on my head. Now I'm back to shaving my head again completely. If you haven't seen me in a while and you're like, wait, last time I saw him, he had hair watch my last video from yesterday and it'll explain the whole thing. So let me know if you try this tip, if you found it very helpful and it's gonna sol solve your hair issues and your hair dilemmas, because I love to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.